Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob DeMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Some tremendous questions from all over the world, and we love hearing from the different parts and what's going on in your lives. Question number one, my belly is distended, which causes me not to be able to bend down, which is a pretty big belly. You're 60 years old. You've had it the last 10 years. You want to know what was going on. Well, I always think large liver. We see a lot of large livers, and one of the uh, Ask Dr. Bob questions here is somebody's liver shrunk with one of our protocols that we suggested, suggested. I also see large livers with people who have heart function that's impaired and kidney stress. I would suggest maybe start bouncing on a ball, but you really want to have someone take a film of your spine and your liver if it's large. It will show up. Hi, Dr. Bob. Is it safe to uh, to take treat strep throat with the Southern Silver 10 parts per million? I'm not real familiar with a lot of the silver products. I know that we use a variety of products that have silver in it and it works wonderfully. But we actually also use olive leaf and we would suggest a probiotic. But you know what? Chronic throat problems is usually a gut problem. And, peop and the parasites and the unfriendly bacteria in the gut love sugar. My blood pressure is up and down. I hate taking meds because I know what it can do to me in the long run. Any natural herbs or minerals. Magnesium helps stabilize blood pressure. Eat kale. It's good for you. Somebody asked a question about something called, and I'll say this to you phonetically, melasma. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can say it. It's the, the bronzing that occurs on your cheek. And I can tell you from my experience over time, it's usually liver and or pituitary happens on the left cheek you know a lot of people call it age spots you know with my experience if a pituitary is stressed it needs manganese and selenium I would suggest having a hair analysis that would help me help you a lot also you may have a large liver so somebody was having an abdominal CAT scan they're going to inject them with some barium and they wanted to prepare themselves and then the radiation wanted to know what to do afterwards Chlorella. Chlorella and chlorophyll help get rid of the bad effects or the side effects of that radiation or that potential barium. Somebody had a question in regards to hot flashes. and Hot flashes are very interesting. We talked about this in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. Iodine deficiency, adrenal stress, and you may need oils, omega-3 oils. Very simply put, you could have a urine iodine loading test. You should have your thyroid checked, TSH, T3, and T4, and you may consider an essential fatty acid blood spot test. That will help me create a strategy for you so you don't have to deal with hot flashes. You know what the medical community likes to do for hot flashes? Antidepressants. And I think you're pretty smart and you don't need them. That's why you asked that question. Would I eat carrot greens? I want you to know I typically don't eat carrot greens. Are they good for you? I don't know. Why don't you try them and let us know. Put them in some soup. I know beet greens are good, beet greens and onions. Beets are wonderful. Try some beet greens. In regard to honey and sugar, this is really a common question. I think that people get a little bit nervous when I tell them that honey is not the very best option. Do you know that honey is 95% sucrose? Maple syrup, agave honey, you know, just try going without it for three months. Your body will have less inflammation, you'll have less pain. My question for you today is regarding the liver and a bacteria infection. So this person had watched me on Marilyn Hickey Ministries TV. She had a very enlarged liver. She started using the castor oil pack and her liver shrunk. And we talk about the castor oil pack and Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. She also had some challenges with um, bacteria and also she said yeast. Okay, so you have to support liver function. Avoid fruit. We manage yeast with Caprin and a product called Agricept L. I would suggest you read Dr. Crook's book, The Yeast Connection. William Crooks wrote a great book 30 years ago or so. You want to stay away from sugar. Yeast uh, loves sugar. Someone by the name of Shannon, 40 years old, low thyroid since she was 17. That's a long time. And wanted to know what should she do when she talks to her doctor about her low thyroid. I would encourage you to get Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones we have all the body signals in there, cold hands, cold feet, wide space, teeth, thinning hair, constipation. Go there. Search it out. Do a search on the internet with Dr. Bob and iodine. We'll talk about it in great detail. We always encourage a TSH, a T3, 
a T4 and TPO, and we follow and treat the numbers. Somebody had a question about hair thinning. Hair thinning is commonly caused by low thyroid. Got to improve the thyroid. We also use inositol. Inositol will help it too. And you also may need to have your essential fatty acids tested because if you don't have low oil, you're not going to have good hormones. Somebody wanted to know about chronic nail challenges. And we have found from our experience, nail fungus is usually a gut problem. So if you're really listening to what I'm saying to you, sugar and yeast, uh, sugar and grains, yeast loves that. Eating pizza, if you're eating pizza and bread, you're going to have toenail issues. You're going to clean that gut up. And how do you clean the gut up? Sulfur-based foods. Broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, eggs, onion, and garlic. Try some Agricept L, 10 drops every day. Last question. Dr. Bob, I have these little red bumps in my body and I want to get rid of them. Okay, so what do you do with this? I have found from my experience it's liver. You might consider the castor oil pack. You could do a search in Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. I'm not sure what your age is. You might want to have some liver enzymes done. You might need to take some uh, products to support liver function like um, milk thistle. So, you, tremendous questions. Once again, thank you for passing these on. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.